you would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, for? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Last night, Donald Trump was on Sean Hannity for a town hall, which was more like an advertisement for the Trump campaign. So there is one moment here that I have to show you because Sean, <laughs> Sean Hannity... Sean Hannity's not going to be asking Trump too many tough questions, but here he tries to get, this isn't even a tough question. He is trying to get Trump to simply say, no, I will not be a dictator. And Trump is unwilling to do so. And he's asked this a couple of times. So I'm going to get to Trump's response here. Hannity, of course, is uncomfortable in the exchange, but I'll also get to, as I've discussed actually in a couple other videos, what is on Trump's own website that is clearly stating he is going to abuse power? But first, let's get to uh, the first time he was asked about will he abuse his power as president if he wins in 2024? Because I see what the media is doing now. I put a montage together. Yeah. They want to call you a dictator. You use the words, I am your retribution. And now before that, you said if you've been wronged and you used other words as well. But I want to be very, very clear on this. To be clear, do you in any way have any plans whatsoever, if reelected president, to abuse power, to break the law, to use the government to go after people? You mean like they're using right now? So in the history of our country, what's happened to us, again, has never happened before over nonsense, over nothing, made up charges. I often say Al Capone, he was one of the greatest of all time, if you like criminals. He was a mob boss, the likes of which Scarface, they call him. And he got indicted once. I got indicted four times. All right, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get to response number two. That answer there does not really instill confidence in the idea that he won't be a dictator. His response to the idea or the question of will you abuse power, his response is, quote, you mean like they're using right now. There is no abuse of power being used against him. Trump broke the law multiple time, in multiple ways. He tried to steal the election, not just through his speech on Jan 6. It's what was going on behind the scenes. I've covered this many times. This has been covered in media tons of times. He broke the law. That's why he's being indicted. If it, by the way, if he was anybody else, if he wasn't a former president, he'd already be in jail. So this idea that, you know, he's, he's being targeted is completely insane. It, the reality is there are kid gloves being used against him because he's a former president. Again, if he was any other citizen, a normal citizen, he'd already be in jail, you know, a long time ago. So this is the idea that he's communicating this whole, these charges against him as, you know, an abuse of power against him clearly shows that he cannot wait to become president again and try in jail, or not try, I think he will go through with it, as we'll get to later on with some of the, some of this information. He will try and jail his political opponents. It's clear. It's not just clear here. It's clear from what he has stated many times over. It's clear from his own campaign website how he's going to abuse his power. So before I get to that, though, let's get, get to his... The second answer here, because it's clear um, <laughs> Hannity, Hannity is is not was not satisfied with the first answer for obvious reasons, and here he tries to get another answer out of Trump. I want to go back to, to this one issue though, because the media has been focused on this and attacking you yeah. under no circumstances. You are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody, except for day one. Except Look, for? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill. That's drill, not a that's, drill. That's not, oh, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, You're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, No, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator. So that, okay? that, that sounds to me like you're going back to the policies <laughs> when you were president. That's All right, exactly. take a break. Just getting started. We're in beautiful Davenport, Iowa. Donald Trump with us for the hour as Hannity continues. Thank you for being with us.
All right, so I left that clip to go on you know, a little long there. I wanted to show you the crowd. This is a crowd, again, this is a town hall. It's funny, it's funny seeing, you know, whether it's CNN or MSNBC, really try to, to fight, and they got their own issues. But they try to fight when it comes to these town halls and, and say, well, we have this balanced audience, you know, for these debates, for these town halls. And here on Fox News, it's just, <laughs> they, they got all the mega they could find and stuck them into a room for this town hall. There is a standing ovation. There's no signs there. That, if you watch the ovation, it's slowly, they slowly stand up. So it's not like there's a sign saying, all of you stand up and clap. No, they, they decide to stand up and give Trump a standing ovation right after, again, sidestepping the question about will he be a dictator? Only on day one, though. <laughs> Only on day one. It, Trump, Trump knows what he's doing here. He is not directly answering the question in terms of, you know, jailing political opponent, uh, uh, opponents. So he's not, the not, he didn't deny any of that. But he is saying, day, and then, you know, on day, only on day one, and then mentioning a couple of policies that he supports without, again, directly answering the question about, will you go after your political opponents? So this is on his campaign website. There's a lot of this stuff. I got just two examples here of how he's going to abuse his power. But... One of them is, first, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, which just means people that don't agree with Trump, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus, and there are plenty of them. This is just, say, this is just saying, if there are people in government in any position who are not aligned with me completely, they are gone. This is the move of a dictator. Also, when it comes to uh, independent agencies, so President Trump will bring the independent regulatory agencies, such as the FCC and the FTC, back under presidential authority as the Constitution demands, which it doesn't demand, but they're going to use this certain clause to try and claim it demands that to do this. No longer will unelected members of the Washington Swamp be allowed to act as the fourth branch of our republic. He wants full and total control. He wants to be, he clearly wants to be a dictator. He wants complete control. He wants no independent agencies. He wants com complete control. He wants the last say on everything. And we're supposed to believe that he's not going to abuse power when he's saying there will be no... No longer will there be independent agencies. And that's just on, you know, this is mostly on the policy front. We get to uh, this as well. So, Mr. Trump and his advisors are making no secret of their intentions, proclaiming them in rallies and on his campaign website, describing them in white papers and openly discussing them. This is amazing. Quote, what we're trying to do is identify the pockets of independence and seize them. This, is a, a, this isn't some anonymous quote. This is by uh, from Russell T. Voigt, who ran the Office of Management and Budget in the Trump in the Trump White House, and now runs a policy organization, the Center for Renewing America. The, the, they're openly advertising: we are going to eliminate all independents and seize them. The clear abuse of power, openly advertising this. So I go into a lot more in this video. This is from uh, July when Trump first put all this stuff on his site. So I, I, I discuss a bit more of it and go into more examples uh, that are showcased as well. But there's also, this is more recent from November, Trump issues sinister threat to root out leftists if elected in 2024. So he's, of course, discussed this in speeches openly. The idea that Hannity here doesn't bring up an example of where Trump, I mean, again, Hannity's on, he's not a journalist, but if he were a journalist, he would bring up specific examples, quotes from Trump saying things like this and getting Trump to answer. Why did you say this? Are you going to do this? How are you going to do? But Han of course, Hannity doesn't do this. His, his way of, of introing the question is, oh, the media, the media is freaking out about you being a dictator. How about Trump? You yourself have claimed these are various things you have said in, <laughs> in the way you want to be a dictator. Why, have, why are you saying these things? How, why do you want to be a dictator? Like, the, it's clear 
That's what he wants to be, based on the things he has said, based on what is on his own website. Also, Trump and his allies have begun mapping out specific plans for using the federal government to punish critics and opponents should he win a second term, with the former president naming individuals he wants to investigate or prosecute and his associates drafting plans to potentially invoke the Insurrection Act on his first day in office. This is also, I think, why he says day one and then doesn't mention this, but mentions a couple of policies, because this is also part of his day one plan to allow him to deploy the military against civil demonstrations. He, of course, he is going to abuse power. And this goes to the Project 2025. There's a whole, there's a massive plan around this. Like, it's open. They're discussing it. So, I I, I recommend checking out Humanist Report. My buddy, Mike Figueredo here, he broke this down a couple of months ago, uh, discussing Project 2025 and the whole, and there's videos of them discussing this openly as well. Like it's all, and I'm not, I'm not just recommending it because he's wearing a Rational National t-shirt. <laughs> See, the rationalnational.com slash merch. Um, but it, it's a great, great video. So he breaks it all down in a, in a way that you can easily digest. So I will link to that below the video as well. This is, this is not just about the Hannity appearance here and the, this non-response on Hannity, on Fox News. This is about the actual plans that are already put in place if Trump becomes president. It's all very open, it's all very clear, and you have an audience here of Trump fans giving it a standing ovation because this is exactly what they want.